My mom, Rebecca, uh, came to Al's place a couple of months ago. It was a blessing uh, for us because uh, caring for her was really um, physically affected me, uh, emotionally affected me, and mentally affected me. I had never seen my mom in that way. I didn't realize uh, the difficulties in taking care of someone with uh, dementia. When, when I first brought her, she was like she was depressed and she was down, and I, nothing I could do to make her better. I said blue moon up Kentucky. After she started to come here, she, she got excited about life. She looked forward to, uh, to coming each day, and uh, it, it changed the whole atmosphere, you know, in the house. But the blessing is she's remembering stuff. It's working, it's helping, and I can see a change in her. My father uh, came in under my care in my home uh, about in July of last year. And he was diagnosed two years prior with uh, the early stages of dementia. I did not want to put my father in a home. Um, he is completely functional. He just can't remember what he had for breakfast. So he needed someone to manage him all the time. They have the different activities that Robin has been so amazing at, at coordinating um, and giving so many different, a good variety of things for them to engage their brains and keep them active. Uh, in fact, one day my dad came home and for the first time he remembered that he was here because they had played music. And it was really encouraging to see that the things they do here has, is having an impact. On, on someone with Alzheimer's or dementia. I bring my mom, she's 91 years old. Al's place has been the best to keep that brain working. And that's what I wanted for mom. To keep, I didn't want her just someone babysitting for her. You know, I wanted to keep that brain working, doing the games, the dancing, because she loves to dance. And the exercises that they do and watching movies, I think is the best thing for her. Our retirement began and she started showing symptoms of dementia about 12 years ago. The first six or eight years I took care of Peggy by myself and then a good friend noticed that I was having some depression and sadness and two years ago a place came open here at Al's place for us, and that's been wonderful. Robin and her staff are fabulous. And the days that she comes here, when she comes home, she's much brighter. This is one of the most loving, caring group of people that I've ever met in my life. The way they care for my mom, but not only care for my mom, but they care for me. There was a few days I, I came in here to drop mama off and I was at wit seeing and the hugs and the, the encouragement and the, and the support is priceless. Al's place needs support, whether it be time, uh, money, uh, whatever anyone can provide, it's going to be helpful. Obviously, as the population ages. This is not going away. We need to honor our mother and father. That, that's a commandment that we, my family, we take very seriously to do that. And, and this is a way to do it. And, and we are very grateful and thankful that this is here. And it's definitely uh, helped our family immensely.